Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, we're doing it. <laughs> I'm doing another unboxing because this just happened to show up on my doorstep right behind my Ipsy Glam bag. So, we're going to go ahead and unbag our Ipsy Glam bag plus and... I cannot wait to see what is in here. Um, if you guys want to watch either the PR unboxing that I did earlier this month, I will have that link below. If you guys want to see what I got in my glam bag, I got that also linked down below as well. So I really like this month's bag. It is perfect for Halloween. You got the snakes and the hats and the pumpkins and it's just, it screams Halloween and that makes me super happy. And I like the fact that they went with like purple and black. So that's fun. The first item we have is from Stila. Oh, I don't think I've seen Stila Cosmetics in here ever. Maybe, or at least not in a while. Uh, this is their Stay All Day Dual End Waterproof Liquid Liner. Okay. <laughs> and of course, an intense black. I have not tried this liner. So I'm actually really excited to see if it is, in fact, waterproof. We have a micro tip. Oh, that is so tiny. I like that. Give this a little... I like how fine that is. And then we have the original on the other side, which is just your basic felt tip liner. See, now that's already starting to bleed. You can see right there where it's already starting to bleed. Can you guys see that? Mm. And then the other one, which immediately, immediately is bleeding. <sighs> I don't know how I feel about that. That sucks. Now, it could be because I wiped the lipstick off and I had, I, I used the uh, a makeup wipe. So maybe it's like the residue from the Neutrogena wipe that is on my hand that's causing it to bleed. You know what? We're gonna see, because my other hand uh, does not have, I did not use that wipe. Nope, it's doing the same darn thing. Ah, that is such a, bummer. Well, I still use it probably, especially the, the really skinny one. My gosh, look how bad that is bleeding. Can you see that? Mm -mm -mm. I don't think I've seen one bleed this bad. I don't know how I feel about that. Will I still use it? Probably you know, on some like looks that I really, or when I'm like testing stuff out, testing makeup looks out. Um, but would I use that for like <sighs> events or going out? No, <laughs> no thank you. Such a bummer, let's move on. The next item is from Complex Culture. They're, this is their Filter Out Anti-Pollution Face Primer. Now I have used their brushes. Their brushes are absolutely amazing. I didn't even know that they made stuff like this. Um, it says apply evenly before makeup for a smooth blurring base to hydrate, prime, and protect skin from free radicals and daily pollution. Actually, this sounds like right up my alley. I do like a pore filling primer. Um, I need something that's going to be hydrating. So the fact that it actually includes both of those, I'm willing to give this a shot and see how it works on my skin. The next item is from Iconic London. Ooh, fancy. Oh, they're brushes. Oh, now you guys know this is gonna make me happy because I love getting brushes, especially ones that um, are flimsy and feel like they have really good quality. So we have four eye brushes, which are my favorite. I have plenty of face brushes, but I always <laughs> can use more eye brushes. So this is exciting. This one is, now it doesn't say what each one is, but that's fine. Okay, let me take these out. 
So we got definitely some like blending brushes. That one's pretty big. I would probably use this to like set my eye primer. Um, or actually this would even be a really good highlight brush. Sometimes I, use, I like brushes like this to put on highlight. Uh, we have a nice little pencil brush here. Good for smoking out the lower lash line. Um, and then we have a blending brush right here that feels really really nice and this is like a kind of like a flat blending brush um, I could use this to keep things on my outer corner so yeah super excited for those another item we have is the estate edit fall edit palette is this the same one that I got in my PR box no no, it is not. I got the Element Beauty palette in my PR box. So this is different. Okay. So this is the packaging right here. A nice little plaid moment. And... Ooh, super pretty. Definitely, definitely fall colors. I love this. Oh, I love that. You got some plums, some browns, pop of orange a gold oh yeah I could definitely play in this <laughs> oh those colors are so pretty so we do swatches you guys let's just go ahead oh that feels real nice that is a really really pretty shade let's do the orange and the dark brown and Mm, I don't know which one I should do. I feel like I always go for the gold, so let's go for this one right here, which is a little bit more of like a champagne cool tone. Those are so pretty, you guys. Okay. Not bad. It seems like it would definitely be buildable, which I would rather have a buildable shade anyway. Look at that. Okay, let's go back over the orange. There you go, yeah. Those are really pretty. I'll definitely have to play in this. And last but not least, we have from Fenty Beauty. Okay, this is the Stunna Limp Paint, which I did receive one previously in another bag. The color was awful. <laughs> I mean, it was a pretty color, but it was just awful on me. Uh, and this one is in the shade, it's a different shade, Uncensored. Now, also, I wasn't the biggest fan of the formula. Um, it was extremely, like, drying. So, oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. I kind of want to give this a go. Like, should I give it a second chance and test this out? Because I love a good red shade. Okay, we're doing it. I'm, I'm going to wipe this off and, and try this. Okay. So, first of all, uh, a couple things. Let's start off with this color. Oh my god, this color is gorgeous it is like one of the like the deep like what is it called like blue tone reds it is one of my absolute favorite type of reds so right away super happy with that and I will say that this dries so fast like super super fast it's already dry I would probably use a liner with this. I know, um, maybe it's because I had lotion on, or not lotion, but like a moisturizer on. It did bleed a little up top, so I had to clean that up. It's not as drying as I remember it being. I mean, it, it's a liquid matte lip, so it is a little drying, but I, I remember the other one like sucking the life out of my lips. This one I feel like I could wear and be okay. It's not transfer proof. <laughs> it 
not transfer proof in the slightest but I mean it's beautiful okay so let's go over our glam bag plus um, I think this was actually a pretty decent bag uh, we got the really pretty fall palette the fall edit palette from estate I love the colors in here I think it definitely screams fall we got the complex culture face primer which is supposed to be like a blurring and hydrating primer so I'm super excited for this we got the set of eye brushes that I love we got the Stila eyeliner, which was kind of a dud for me because it dead bleeds so much. Um, but I'll still use it for like practicing and stuff, so that's okay. And then we got this absolutely gorgeous deep blue red lip from Fenty Beauty. This is their Sun and Lip Paint. Uh, the shade, in case I didn't tell you guys, is uncensored. So it's 01 uncensored. And I cannot stop looking about how pretty this red is. Of course, it doesn't help that I got it all over my teeth. So be careful with that. All in all, I think this was a pretty decent glam bag plus. I'm actually pretty happy with both bags I got this month. My glam bag was a hit. Uh, my glam bag plus was a hit. So I was super excited for that. And yeah, if you guys did like this video, please give me a big old thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.